JSTOR is a useful database for people conducting research in the humanities, including history, culture, literature, and similar fields. It contains journal articles, primary source materials and documents, images, and plenty more. It's important to note that most recent articles published within the last two to five years are not usually available in JSTOR. Those are JSTOR's terms. To access JSTOR, you can click on the Find Databases button on the JCAM Library's homepage. Select J in the alphabetized list, and then select JSTOR. From JSTOR's homepage, you can choose to search all content, or specifically images. You can also select advanced search if you'd like more options. Advanced search allows you to select more search preferences right up front in the beginning of your search process instead of doing it after the fact. If we use a simple search like Gothic literature and women as an example, you'll see we get lots of search results back. 45,244 results to be exact. You would want to narrow that search result list down by using a more specific search phrase in the search bar and by employing some of the filters on the left-hand menu. The filters in JSTOR are similar to the filters in other databases, but with some slight differences. First, you can search for additional keywords within the search result. So I'm going to add health, and that will narrow our search result list down quite considerably. Next, you can select the type of information you want to get back, which oftentimes will be academic journal articles. This decreases our search results yet again quite drastically. Now we're just under 6,000. Under academic content, we see a section called primary source content. Primary source content is referring to primary source materials specifically. So if you need primary sources for your project, this is how you can select the types of primary source material you get back. Moving on to the date filter. Date allows you to set your window of publication. Often you'll hear your professors say they want you to use research conducted within the last 10 or 20 years or so. This is where you can set that window of publication so that you know that everything popping up in the search results list will have been published within the last 10 years or however long you set your window for. I'm going to do the last 20 years. As you can see, our search result continues to get smaller, which means it will be more manageable for us to go through and more relevant to what we actually need. Our next filter is the subject filter, which is where you can select the general subjects you're interested in while conducting this project. This can allow you to get very specific with your search results, which is especially helpful if your topic crosses subjects. Gothic is a term used in several different subjects such as literature, architecture, and language, so it's good to specify what areas I'm actually interested in by using the subject filter in JSTOR. You can select multiple relevant subjects, and what that does is it retains all of the journal articles and items that have to do with that particular subject, and it kicks out anything that does not have to do with that subject, so it helps you refine things. The language filter allows you to select the language you want your search results to be in. If you are comfortable doing research in a language other than English, you can select that here. If you only want to see English results, you can select English here. We're now down to 1,334 search results, which is far more manageable than the tens of thousands that we started with. And in theory, these results should be pretty relevant to our original search topic. We could continue to narrow this down further, but let's take a look at what we've got. In the search result list, you'll see each item listed with a bit of basic information about the item underneath it. To the right, you'll see a few options. You can download this article, you can save it to your JSTOR account, and you can see this article cited in a few of the major citation styles. We can click on the title of an article to open up a page devoted to the article itself. We get the article in PDF form in a window in the center of the page here. We also get publication information in the upper left hand corner. And below the publication information, we see additional information about this article that could be helpful to us. 
And then we have some helpful tools for maximizing our research. On the left-hand menu, we see the references listed in this article, which is very helpful when we're chasing the citation chain. Chasing the citation chain means using references and citations to find other relevant articles to your research. And under that, we have related text. These are simply articles or books that JSTOR thinks are similar to the article you're looking at. This is another good way to find resources that might be helpful to your own research. There is another research tool that we don't see here. It does not appear in every JSTOR article, but it is called Cited By, and we'll come back to that. Above the article and to the right a little, we'll see some of those familiar options like cite, share, save, and download. Let's head back to our main search results page and find an article that has that cited by tool so I can show you an example of what that looks like. Cited by is referring to all of the articles that have been published since the article you're looking at that has cited the article that you're looking at. So this article about True Blood has the cited by. And if we open this up, we will see all of the articles that have been published that cite this article about True Blood. And in theory, if the article about True Blood is useful to your research, these articles that cited the article about True Blood might also be useful to your research. And of course, we have the classic related texts, references, all of those other tools that we can use to find more relevant research. If we head back to our search results page and look again at our basic search bar, we'll see that we can select images. And if we do that, we'll get a search result that is just images and primary source documentation. And those are the basics of searching JSTOR. If you have any questions or would like more in-depth research help, please contact a librarian.